welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another channel update it's been a little while um, but I wanted to make this to bring a few things up the uh, what I'm psyched for right now is the release of Sonic Origins is finally coming out uh, they brought it up a year ago and I kind of forgot about it for a while but since the release is coming up I am actually looking very much forward to it now there's a lot of a lot of people have taken issue with Origins already because there's several pre-order DLCs. Now, it is the usual stuff with the pre-order DLC. It's all kind of superficial stuff. There's artwork, soundtracks, some ani menu animations. The only gameplay-related things are there are some challenge missions and some... Uh, the mirror mode is apparently unlocked with some of the pre-order DLC. Now we don't know if that just unlocks it and it can still be unlocked normally or if it needs to be purchased at a later date, who knows. It's still, there. there's not a lot of information on it, but this is what people are freaking out about and they've already basically decided that Sonic Origins is a lost cause. Now I don't, I don't see it that way at all. The actual gameplay is all still there. You're still, still getting all of the classic Sonic games here in their with their retro engine HD remakes, uh, including Sonic 3 which and Knuckles, which has never gotten that treatment. So this is a first for that uh, widescreen, uh, solid frame rate, fully restored soundtrack, new animations, and uh, new playable characters, new abilities. The drop dash is being added to all the games. Um, you can play as Knuckles and Tails in a two-player fashion like Sonic and Tails in Sonic 2 in Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 I believe uh, so there's there's still a ton of features there there's all the new stuff that was added to the retro engine Taxman remakes although Taxman himself is not working on this title but they, a lot of the other staff members who worked on Sonic Mania did return to work on Sonic Origins and in particular it seems to the uh, retro engine remake of Sonic 3 so it all sounds fantastic to me um, <laughs> we haven't had uh, they haven't re-released Sonic 3 and Knuckles in ages uh, in fact the one I played on my channel when I streamed it was from the Sonic Mega Collection Plus on my PlayStation 2 which is how old that is we're talking early 2000s um, and it hasn't been out since then the, there was one collection had both games but had them separate. You couldn't play the combined version. Uh, then they dropped Sonic 3 for some reason in subsequent releases. And eventually they dropped Sonic and Knuckles. The, the pack I'm playing here is uh, the VR version on the current consoles. And it has Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 and then Sonic Spinball and uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and Sonic 3D Blast. You know, those are all your Sonic. And Flicky's there too. But it, it, for some reason, dropped Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. So you can't get your hand on that game anymore, on those games. Which is really Sonic 3 split into two, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. And also, it also comes with Sonic CD. Of course, it comes with all the Taxman remakes, uh, which have been updated as well. Like I said, the drop dash has been added. Um, so Sonic CD, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We've never gotten these four games, or five, depending on how you look at it, in one set before. It's, it hasn't happened. Uh, so that's good, and they're upgraded. They're in widescreen while keeping the aspect ratio. So it's going to look like Sonic Mania, basically. Uh, which is great. It'll make actually a great package with Sonic Mania. If between Origins and Mania, you've got a hell of a classic Sonic collection going. You know, you don't really have much else to ask for. <laughs> you know, so I, I am extremely looking forward to that. I did pre-order mine. I don't mind Digital Deluxe Edition. Still cheaper than a full-fledged new game. And for these games, I would probably play, pay the price because Sonic's my favorite. And I want to see Sega do more. So I want to I want to entice them, incentivize them into making more releases because by supporting this one is also what I'm doing. I am still looking forward to the games, but I also want Sega to know that more of this is good, please, thank you. You know, I don't need all remakes, but we I desperately would like to see um, more Sonic game collections come out. 
we've never gotten the full franchise. And then we need a Sonic Anthology set. And a lot of the games now, even besides the 2D games, which have also been lost, some games that have never been released to the masses, there's some that uh, haven't been seen in generations. And I'd like to see these come back. I'd like to see the... If I were to pick the next set, you know, it wouldn't be like Origins 2, because that would suggest all remakes. And they don't need to do that, although there ha already have been fan remakes of those games. But I'd like to see them bring all the portable games back in one set. You know, give us the 8-bit Master System games they've never released in a set before. You know, you've only been able to get those on the Virtual Console on the Wii when it was still around. Um, and the Game Gear versions. And get of us the Sonic Advance series needs to be re-released. That's another excellent classic style Sonic series that uh, game uh, fans can't experience right now without again emulation. Which and I usually don't advocate for emulation when it's avoidable. But when the there's no current official product, what else are you gonna do? You know, you could hunt down I guess some Game Boy Advance cartridges and hope that they still work. But otherwise, you know, hoist the colors and set sail. It's <laughs> piracy time. Uh, I'll be happy to support official releases when they come, but if they don't make them, you know, they don't release the games, what else am I going to do? I, I'm still going to play them. You know, what the hell with that? Uh, so anyway, um, I'd like to see those sets. I'd like to see a classic 3D sets being re-released, because if uh, if you're not a PC gamer, and I did get these on PC, and I tested them to make sure they were, but like Son the Sonic Adventure games, you can't get those on modern consoles can't get uh, Sonic Heroes or Shadow the Hedgehog on current consoles. You can't get Sonic Generations on current. And Generations was a great game. It kind of set the bar for a lot of the stuff that came after, like Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania and and uh, and the like, you know? They did do, of course, Sonic Colors Ultimate, which is nice, but there's, there's more 3D Sonic games that need to come out. And of course, Sonic 06 as well, which a lot of people would probably be against unless they fixed it. But uh, fixing it would be nice. And uh, make no mistake, you know, cut those load times down, fix the bugs. Just the bugs, I'm still happy. You know, you don't have to upgrade the graphics per se. But a new Sonic 06 would be very nice. Um. And even though not, it's it's just a fun game to play again. So we're we're still missing a lot of the Sonic collections, and uh, it'd be nice to see Sega release those games. And I'm hoping that they will, but only time will tell. You know, Konami did good with the Castlevania sets after they got fan feedback. You know, they gave us the Sonic Advance trilogy. Hopefully, they're working some kind of deal out for the DS ones. I don't know. DS is tricky because the dual screen uses different types of technology. And uh, it's, it's a weird thing to emulate. It can be done, but especially with touchscreen stuff, it's a little tougher. So, uh, we'll see. I mean, it can be emulated regardless, but uh, time will tell. But I, I'd really like to see more of these Sonic games come out, which is part of the reason I'm supporting this, and also part because I just like Sonic, and I'd like to be able to play it in widescreen, too. That's always, it's always a good bonus, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, if you do like... Sonic, or if you're curious about if you do get Origins and like it and want to get more Sonic, or if you're curious about what other things you can play in between um, to kill time, I'll probably, I probably will do some streams uh, for some more Sonic stuff. Obviously, I'm going to be saving the class. I've already streamed the classic games, but I, I, and I am going to stream Origins from start to finish, and then I'm going to do um, I'm going to do sorry, Sonic Mania brain fart. That's, that's my plans for the future with Sonic. Now, like I said, that's dependent on uh, when Sonic Mania comes out. Uh, there's other Sonic games I would like to stream and make videos of, which include Sonic Colors, um, and Sonic, uh, sorry, again, so Forces, Sonic Forces. <laughs> I'm tripping all my words here. But these are games that I can play on current console and I can stream right now. The thing is, uh, my plans for my personal life down the road have changed again. I put them, I get to keep putting them back because uh, realism here. But it's, I'm not going to have my new studio set up until, or my new rig set up, probably until October at this point. So, um, 
in the meantime, I'll continue to stream as I have been, you know, as I will. Uh, and I probably will keep using YouTube. I am going to ditch YouTube, though, once I get um, my setup done, my rig. I'm going to set up with some new streaming companies and some new video archive companies. Probably going to go back to um, BitChute and uh, probably going to look at some other new places because I'm not happy at all with YouTube at the moment. I'm, I'm specifically planning on abandoning them. They, uh, I put up a video about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I uploaded it. It was instantly flagged as spam with no chance for appeal. It permanently marked private. So, you know, that's that's a load of shit. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm not the only one that's been hit with that. Other people were. And it's not because of the topic. It wasn't Kenobi or Star Wars. It's just people are getting their videos randomly targeted. Another person I know had an entire stream marked private because with, with no chance of appeal. Like, just randomly for no reason. So, it's definitely something YouTube's just doing to certain people. And it's, it's, I'm tired of this stuff. I've been fighting YouTube on this stuff for a while, and I'm just not interested anymore. I'm going to find somewhere where I can upload my content unmolested. You know, that's all I want. I just want to upload stuff. And I want it to be saved so that I can rewatch it, people can rewatch it, you know. Um, so that's, that's the plans for, you know, this fall or so. And in the meantime, you know, I can only use my PlayStation 4 for, stream, for streaming. For streaming for uploading content, and I can only upload content that's available on the PlayStation 4, so uh, for Sonic, uh, I can do Sonic Mania, I'll be able to do Sonic Origins, but I cannot do uh, like Sonic Generations, I cannot do Sonic 06, I cannot do Sonic 4, so those are all games that I'm going to have to wait until my rig is up. Uh, along with other titles, I'll probably stream likely through emulation because, like I said, they haven't been re-released, re so it's just a matter of time. All right, so that's the plans in the long run. I'm still going to be doing Mass Effect as I get around to it, and probably some casual uh, car mechanic uploads in between because I do enjoy those; they're fun. Uh, I'm not planning on a particular schedule anymore. Uh, no one's been showing up for the streams, which is fine. You know, uh, I have no issues there. I've never have. I've never had any expectations audience-wise. It's great to have some, but if I don't, I'm still going to make content because I just like making content and talking to myself is just fine. So I will be still be uploading, but I'll be uploading at my own schedule, my own pace. And uh, people join in great. If people watch after the fact, that's great too. Um, it's all groovy, guys. So, until next time, this is Teru Grimm signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Good night. All quiet at the launch pad for now. Grab a shuttle before they sound the alert.